Yesterday, the world got an unexpected look at the intersection of two major forces in technology, Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus and Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff. In a casual, almost light-hearted exchange captured on video, we saw not just the current state of Optimus, but also the grand ambitions attached to it. Benioff later tweeted, Elon's Tesla Optimus is here. Dawn of the physical agent force revolution, tackling human work for $200,000 to $500,000. Productivity game changer. Congrats Elon Musk, and thank you for always being so kind to me. But beyond the excitement and social media buzz, what does this actually mean for Tesla, for Salesforce, and for the future of work itself? Let's break it down. The Exchange, Benioff meets Optimus. The video shows Mark Benioff casually approaching Optimus. He asks, Hey, Optimus, what are you doing there? To which the robot responds, Just chilling, ready to help. Next, Benioff requests directions to find a coke. Optimus replies, Sorry, I don't have real-time info, but I can take you to the kitchen if you want to check for a coke there. As they prepare to walk, Elon off-camera notes, we need to give it a bit more room. Right now, it's kind of paranoid about space. And it'll be able to walk a lot faster, too. The clip might look simple, even awkward, but it gives us a fascinating snapshot of where Tesla is today with humanoid robotics, conversational, mobile, but still clearly in its infancy. The price debate, $200,000 versus $20,000. Benioff's tweet suggested that Optimus could be a $200,000 to $500,000 machine, a productivity investment for large companies. But that's not what Tesla itself has said. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the base model will launch under $20,000, with most expectations centering around $18,999 to $20,000 depending on configuration. That's a massive difference in positioning, is Optimus an enterprise-only tool for Fortune 500 firms or a consumer-accessible robot? The truth is probably somewhere in between. Tesla may well offer advanced, customized versions at enterprise pricing while keeping a stripped-down base model at a more accessible price point. Despite the flashy demos and ambitious pricing goals, Tesla is still facing serious hurdles. Joint overheating during extended tasks. Battery life limitations, restricting work cycles. Hand dexterity issues, with engineers struggling to design reliable, human-like grip. Production bottlenecks, with Tesla stockpiling robot bodies but lacking critical components like hands and forearms. Reports suggest current Optimus units deployed in Tesla's own battery factories operate at less than half the efficiency of human workers. In June, Tesla even paused parts procurement to redesign key systems, a delay that could set back timelines by months. So why is Mark Benioff so excited about Optimus? The answer lies in Salesforce's own transformation. Under Benioff, Salesforce has embraced what he calls the agentic enterprise, an organization run not just by humans, but also by AI agents. Over the past year, Salesforce has reduced its customer support workforce from 9,000 employees to 5,000 while maintaining service levels by deploying AI-driven systems. In Benioff's own words, I'm not just managing human beings, I'm also managing agents, an entirely new type of digital labor. For him, robots like Optimus are the logical next step, physical manifestations of these AI agents. If Salesforce can use AI to reduce digital labor costs, then physical robots could do the same for manual work. Tesla has been shifting its identity from automaker to AI and robotics company. Elon Musk has called Optimus more important than Tesla's car business in the long run. But there's a problem. Musk's track record with ambitious timelines isn't exactly reliable. The initial target of 5,000 units by the end of 2025 looks increasingly unrealistic. So far, Tesla has produced only a few hundred prototypes. With the program now under new leadership, Ashok Aluswamy, Tesla's AI software vice president, after the departure of its original head, the project is clearly undergoing major redesigns. If Tesla pulls this off, Optimus could revolutionize entire industries. Manufacturing, logistics, caregiving, 
even household work. But if production and technical issues persist, it risks becoming yet another case of Musk overpromising breakthrough technology. The Benioff-Optimus interaction may look like a quirky moment at first glance. But symbolically, it represents the collision of two major visions. Salesforce's agentic enterprise, where digital agents reduce white-collar labor. Tesla's humanoid robots, aiming to reduce physical labor costs. Together, they hint at a possible trillion-dollar market where digital and physical AI agents reshape productivity. For businesses, this raises profound questions. How much human work will be replaced? How quickly will robots like Optimus scale? And what new industries will emerge as a result? The Optimus demonstration with Mark Benioff wasn't just a fun exchange about finding a Coke. It was a preview of Tesla's biggest gamble yet, and a reminder of how fast AI and robotics are converging with everyday work. Whether Optimus becomes the world's most affordable humanoid robot or another delayed Musk promise, one thing is clear, the race to build physical AI agents is officially on.